Imagine, right, just, just imagine, if you will, we were making a cake. We were master chefs and we were making a big cake. And the producer, being Steve Lillywhite on the first album, Nigel Godrich on the second album, Travis are the kind of ingredients and the producer is the guy who, you know, does that kind of thing. So it will always taste slightly different because the producer puts it together in a certain way. So yeah. it, that, and I'm just trying to explain because it's hard to say. It's like saying, why is your son or your daughter like that? And it's like, well, I don't know. <laughs> why do they look like, why is it a girl? Why is it a boy? Because nature chose for it to be like that. We're very organic in Travis. Now I was thinking because, well, what you were saying, well, the, the songs came out differently on the previous album. And I was thinking maybe in retrospect you can tell why and how, and all oh, right, no. Yeah, yeah, well then yeah. it's the same but going before that. Yeah, right? exactly. Okay. It's yeah, it's difficult to see. You know? Okay. Um, and then well after after that album well you took a well a break. Um, what did you learn from the break? About the about the band? I think we learned that bands need to take breaks. <laughs> I think we um we, we toured twelve memories as much as we could, but to be honest by the time we'd finished making the record, we were pretty done in, you know, we were pretty tired, um, just because of everything that had gone before. But we did, we did our best with touring it, and then we really needed to kind of just step back from it all. And we, we released the singles compilation, did a little kind of club dates for that, you know, a little tour for that. But um, after that, we really felt we needed to step away from, from the, the business side of things, I think, and from the, you know, the rigmarole that goes on, the interviews and, the, <coughs> and everything that goes a, a, around a band <coughs> and actually ends up taking up 99% of your time um, and get back to being a, about friendship and about music and, and all of those things that actually have always been the kind of bedrock of the band, the foundation of the band, because we very much wandered away from, well, not wandered away from that, but maybe been forced away from that and forced to kind of just think about other things that you're not really that interested in. Yeah, you know? the business is kind of, the business is such a big business. It, it, when you when a band gets a deal and goes into that, they end up doing, it used to be 90% hanging mm. out. Having a good playing, time playing. Playing writing. songs and writing and making records and then suddenly you get a deal and it's like, yes! And it, it, it creeps up on you. Over like seven years, it's like grass growing. Before you know it, you're all like, it's 90% this, you know, mm. and, and touring and never, you know, and the more you, you're with people who you, or your, your mates, the, the, the more they become like work. Mm. And that's just, and it starts to sort of change your... Changes your dynamic of your relationships and that kind of, and when that's fundamental to not only the band, but fundamental to you as a person. You know, your friendship's very, very important to you, whether you're kind of working in a bank or working in a band. <laughs> And um, and when they change, it's really you start to your your reality shifts slightly, yeah. and um, and I think you really do need to take some time and step back from that, and so that you can actually see each other through the trees again and see each other as friends rather than as, as part of the problem. <laughs> what, did you, what did you what do you think of him when you had, when you had a break? What did you rediscover about him? Well, you just read it. You just it's it's weird thing. It's not anything specific. Come on. It's a beautiful, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful <laughs> genitals. <laughs> it's, but it isn't. It isn't any, it, said it. <laughs> anything specific. It's more you. You kind of you. You just go. Oh yeah, that's that's why we kind of stuck together for so long. That's why. Uh, we, that's why we became friends. That's why. We, that's what brought us together. You know. You just and it all kind of. You remember that. And you realise that that's not changed, you know, and the person hasn't changed. It was the circumstances that changed. Yeah. You know?